Hi everybody, it's Brad with Big Family Homestead and in this video I'm going to show you how you can dehydrate spaghetti at home. Yes you can, and yes it's cool, so let's get going. Okay skeptics, believe me you can do it, I've done it with meat sauce, I've done it all different kinds of ways and you can dehydrate spaghetti at home and what's even more cool than that is it lasts a really long time. I'm going to show you a process that we use and you can actually, well I've had it personally, so I don't know, I don't know what the USDA Choice Awards would say, how long you're supposed to do this, or even if you're supposed to do it at all. So this is just for entertainment purposes, unless you want to try it on your own, then you figure out, right? So here we go. Uh, bottom line for me, I've had it up to two years in the method that I'm going to show you, and dehydrating this stuff is easy. It's a great way for you to, you know, let's say you got too much spaghetti and you don't want to throw away the leftovers. Uh, you know, dehydrate it. Uh, or maybe you're a camper, maybe you're an outdoorsman. This is a great way for you to save a ton of money and instead of buying those bagged up meals that you just dump the water in, make your own. You'll save a ton of money. Now, the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna go ahead and show you the steps on how I do it myself. And then at the end of the video, I'm even gonna show you how to rehydrate it so you get excellent results. So here we go with step uno. All right, so the first step is to fully cook your spaghetti. It's already been cooked and drained. Everything's ready to go. Whatever sauce you want, you're gonna basically mix it all together in this bowl and get it nice and incorporated. All right, now that our spaghetti is nicely incorporated, we're gonna move on to step two, which is actually loading it into our dehydrator. Okay, as we move on to step two, this is a very, very important step. You can't just use the regular old slatted Tray, uh, trays like this or else you're gonna make a mess in your machine. You want to use the fruit roll-up plastic flexible trays as your trays or else it's gonna make a mess. There you go. Alright, so now we just simply load our trays. You don't want to load it on there too much. Give it a little space and I'll show you what it looks like when we are loaded. So here's what we have with our loaded trays. I do like using one of these spaghetti uh, noodle holder thingy dealies, whatever. To spread it out real nice, you want to make sure that there's good gaps between all the noodles so that, that it will heat evenly and dry evenly. But we have, there is one more important step that we've got to get to, and I'm going to tell you that before we turn on this dehydrator right now. All right, now you're going to want to weigh your spaghetti before you actually go ahead and dehydrate it because you need to get the difference in the weight uh, of the product so that you can rehydrate it properly so that you know how much water you're going to want to add. You're going to need to fiddle with this a little bit, but it'll give you a good rule of thumb to start with. All right, now you simply pop the top on and get it going. I'm going to start it out at about 135 degrees and we're off to the races. Okay, so now we're going to let this do its thing, dehydrate, get warm and toasty until it's crispity, crispity, crispity. I usually check it around six to eight hours. Uh, but you know, it just depends on the consistency of the sauce that you have, yada yada yippy skippy, you check on it, maybe six hours in, eight hours in, whatever floats your boat. Okay, so we've waited our six to slash eight hours, I actually checked it at six hours and it wasn't ready to go, so um, ended up letting it go overnight, I just turned it, the temperature down, it was almost done, so I'm, I'm quite certain it's ready to go. So I'm going to show you what it looks like right now, you're going to get a kick out of this, pretty cool. Now check this out. Shut it off. Watch this. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty dry. It's coming up in big clumps. Yeah. All right, now we're going to basically get our spaghetti off of our trays. And you can do that really however you want, but if you check this out, most of it comes off real easy. We're going to kind of break this up down into the bowl for better storage. Now, this stuff is your sauce. You don't want to lose that either. So what you're going to do is you're going to take something flat like this spatula and scrape it into your bowl. And this is what we are finally left with. This is going to be awesome. Yeah. Okay, so now at this point you're ready to either package this up for a weekend thing and you can put it in a Ziploc bag and, and do that. I prefer to use a, um, a, a vacuum seal machine because then you get all that air out of there. This is going to be long term storable. And by long term, I don't mean like 10 years long term, I mean like two years long term. But it will last 
but there is a trick to it. Now here's the thing. When you go to use your vacuum sealer machine, sometimes those noodles will get all pokey and they'll, they'll poke through the sides of your vacuum seal bags and that's not good because it's no longer a vacuum sealed bag. So what you do is you take a piece of cardboard, like a thin piece of cardboard, like a box or something, you fit that down into the bag and then you put your spaghetti down into that and that way when it, the vacuum sealer seals, it can't poke through. So that's how you do that. There's the secret, there's the tip. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to rehydrate this stuff based on our math, right? All right, in we go. Oops, making a mess. Get all those nifty, lovely bits in there. We'll get it all stirred up. All right, check that out. Spaghetti. Rehydrated. Nice and noodly, not crunchy. You may have to fiddle with the amount of water, just depending on your math. <laughs> yeah, I'm no mathematician, but let's check this out. All right, people. Dehydrated, rehydrated spaghetti made at home. Check it out. It's wiggly. No crunchy, crunchy. I'm burning myself. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. It's easy. It's cheap. It's awesome. You can do this. You can dehydrate and, ooh, I'm getting attacked by a fly there. Something just buzzed me. Anyway, you can dehydrate and rehydrate your spaghetti at home. Easy, no problem. Please, if you like the video, share it, pass it around, like and subscribe. It greatly does help my family out. I am Brad with Big Family Homestead, and you have an amazing day.